Hey, and welcome back to Game Talk. I'm your host, David Mion. Today, I'm joined by Connor. Hey, guys. And Michael. Hello, everybody. We're doing something kind of new and fresh this week. We're actually playing Animal Crossing together while recording. So I was thinking we could just kind of give a virtual tour of each of our islands and also just talk about our experience so far with this game because I feel like this is still pretty much the big the big game or the big game this is still pretty much what everyone is playing so oh my god okay so Mike's you're you're you're, you're wearing an egg so yeah I, I told you I became an egg <laughs> so is that a is that a custom design no, I was fishing up eggs, and uh, my villagers was like, "Oh, hey, I got an idea." That's yeah. So that's the other weird thing. Okay, apparently there's an Easter event starting today, but I have seen no hint of Easter on my island at all. Which is very strange. I see you've got a nice. Uh... Oh, I don't. I don't know what Luffy calls this flag. It's just. The straw hat flag. So straw yeah, so flag. my flag is the straw hat flag from One Piece. Because I love One Piece. And my island name actually is another One Piece reference. Skypea is an island in the sky. I did not know that. So very One Piece themed so far. And I've even got like some custom clothes designs to look like Luffy, but I think that's taking it a little too far. Well nice. I see you've got Sahara in your town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um So I think you should probably talk about uh your Animal Crossing experience so far since you're you're fresh to the game. Yeah. Like, me and I Mike mean, are kind of out of new stuff probably. Like, like I said last week, like, this one for some reason really grabbed me and it, it's basically just become life at this point. You know, I've, I think I've put over, according to my Nintendo Switch, 65 hours, over 65 hours into this game already and it came out like 12 days ago. So if you do the math, that's just an absurd amount of time per day put in yeah i'm over 70 myself and it's just i don't know there's no one thing that makes me addicted i love collecting the bugs and the fish and stuff like that and i love making money in the game but like i also love you know uh planning out like my house and stuff like you can see here so i've got <clears throat> in front of my house i've got like these two tiki torches a fence around my house and a little garden with you know various pansies and uh, bamboo growing, I've got a, like a log table with four little chairs, like yeah. a little hangout spot right in front of my house, and I don't know. It just this game more so than any other game. Like I think it's because like the customization and the decorating is the game rather than like it's a tacked on feature. Yeah, like it is in most games. The fact that it is the game makes it so much more appealing to me. I think. And yeah, it I makes love your... it fun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the decoration is what I've spent all my time doing. I love your little, uh, you have, like, a, a line of trees leading up to your museum. I think yeah, I actually, good. I actually just did that today. So if we, yeah, if we move up here. Where'd Mike go? You just kind of ran away. I'm oh, right also, I, I really, uh, oh, there you are. Yeah. yeah. I I'm really right. like this bamboo thing. Have you guys checked this out? This little, like, bamboo water. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Not really sure what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's, an it's a very, thing, yeah. very Japanese thing. But yeah, I, I've got the cherry blossoms out front, and then I've got one of each uh, type of fruit tree leading up to my museum here. Oh, that's cool. But actually, if we go into the museum, I think my museum might be more fleshed out than either of you two, because I've got a friend who's in the southern hemisphere, and I... Many hours were spent over at his island just catching various fish that aren't available yet. Like, I think I have most, if not all, of the sharks. Wow. wow. So if we go into the aquarium, we can take a look at them if you want. All right. So I think we're... Okay, so the first room is, like, all the freshwater fish. And as you can see, like, it's pretty flesh fleshed out already. Like, yeah, I think I have I over 50% of the fish already, if I were to guess. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I think this is another opportunity to just gush at how incredible this museum is. Oh, wow. It really is just... It looks like a state-of-the-art facility. Like, somewhere I would actually want to go and spend time and money on watching fish 
No, the museum yeah. in this game is amazing. Yeah, I really just can't stop. Like, I, I walk through mine once a day, probably. So, I think this room is my favorite because of the sharks. Like, I just love how there's, like, a school of fish swarming in the middle, and then the beasts swimming around. Yeah, and I, li I like that the sharks have those, um, those fish swimming right under the them, Ramora? too. Yeah. So, that's the great white in the center right now. And then we've got a whale shark that's coming into view. Uh, well... It's like in the back right now, the whale shark. Mm -hmm. And then I think the big goofy looking one is the ocean sunfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Our deep water fish. Oh, I've actually got one more than you, I think. Oh, really? You don't have the uh, the goby. Freshwater what? goby? Not the goby. What's it called? Barrelite? The bitter, no. What'd you say, uh, Mike? The barrel eye? Yeah, the barrel eye. Yeah, I don't have that yet I don't either. I think I do. I've got the barrel eye. I think it has to be between... It's like a small time frame. I think it has to be before 9 o'clock to catch it. It's either that or after 9 o'clock. Okay, interesting. Anywho, I think most people's museums are going to be roughly the same, so I don't want to spend too much yeah. time here. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we head back out? I did, uh, I just sold my turnips in your town. Uh, I sold about half of the turnips I had bought for 708,000 bells. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about that for a sec, because that quickly became another obsession of mine. Um, and, and like, it weirdly stresses me out, too, which I don't know how, how good that is, but, uh, I very anxiously check the price of turnips uh, in the morning and afternoon every day, just hope I get a spike and I, I'm in constant contact with a lot of my friends too so we coordinate who has the best prices and sell accordingly yeah I, I'm much like the actual play, stock market I'm gonna play a little riskier later I think because uh, you know sometimes you can get like somebody will have like like you'll buy your turnips for 80 or 90 bills and then somebody will have 300 bells or something but I, I bought yeah. at 90 and yours is 177 right 177 today yeah yeah and so I'm selling now I'm about doubling so that's fine uh, for now, but I think later, you know, I'm gonna play a little riskier once, uh, you know, once 600,000 bells isn't so significant to me. Yeah, and uh, this area I kind of wanted to be like the center of the town, like where all the shopping districts and like the uh, resident services is, and uh, I guess part, part, partly in fact. Uh, due to the fact that this is my first Animal Crossing game, I'm not sure if I'll get any more buildings here. So I've just kind of laid out what I think looks good right now, and if I get more buildings that do different things, I, I can organize them accordingly. See, the wild thing about this game is I don't know for sure if you're going to get more buildings either. Because historically, there have been more buildings than this. But I don't know what's in this game, so... Yeah, it's all unknown to both of us. Yeah, and I'm really glad the two of you have elected not to time travel at least too much because I feel like that really I don't know if it, like obviously play the game how you want to play it but I, I feel like it would just spoil everything for me if I did that <laughs> I see you put the hearth outside as well uh, that is definitely supposed to be an indoor piece of furniture <laughs> looks cool outside and it's fish related it does but it doesn't make physics sense because the uh, <laughs> the pot is hanging and suspended over in the air. It's fine. It looks cool. <laughs> I that's, did the, that's the only thing that matters. I did the same thing because I didn't look closely at it at first. But yeah, just looking at some of these houses, like my villagers, I've, got, I've gotten a few new ones since the last time we talked, I think. Uh, I have the two that started here were Renee and Genji. I think Renee is a new villager to this game. Um, Renee's a horse, Genji's a, a rabbit. And then, since then, I've got Wendy, who's a sheep, and then Claude. I don't, none of them seem to be out and about right now, which is kind of annoying. But... I saw Renee earlier. Yeah. Okay. And Claude is a bunny, but he has, like, a lazy personality, so he's, like, the opposite of Genji, who's sporty. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Claude is home. <clears throat> I think he's lazy. He's either lazy or smug. I'm pretty sure he's lazy. See, I see you got- you lucked out. You had a couple of good places to put your bridges. I don't have, like, any even terrain. I have town. too like, many I only... rivers. 
I had nowhere to put bridges, so I'm just waiting until I can terraform to put any more. I think Mike went to go and talk to one of my villagers. Yeah, I went to go talk to Claude. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to any of your but, villagers. But, um, yeah, you don't have to. But, uh, this, so this guy right here, actually, Rodney, he's the one I really don't like too much and will probably try and get rid of at some point after I've, you know, is Rodney exhausted a hamster? my list. Yeah, is Rodney a hamster? Yeah, he's He's a hamster, yeah. I like Rodney. Maybe he'll move to my town. I have Rodney! I literally recruited that's a, him. That's a thing that happens I mean, sometimes. I guess, I guess he's alright. I just, I think I like everyone else better as of right now. This and, is something uh, new to you, Amid, but um, Animal Crossing games, typically, when a villager moves out of your town, they like to try to move into one of your friend's towns, and they take with them stories of everything that happened in your town. That's really cool. Like, all the letters you wrote to them and stuff go with them. Wow. And uh, actually, we missed one of the houses here. Uh, here on the the east side of the island, near the east coast, uh, lives Marina the Octopus. And I think she's really cool. She's probably my favorite. Uh, I did a little research, and apparently she's the only, like, female octopus in this game. So, I feel like I got really lucky with her. Yeah, I and, looked up... And sometimes I hear her, like, singing outside, which I don't hear... I, I haven't heard any other villager doing that yet. Rodney was I singing for me earlier. Cool. Yeah, I've seen a couple of my villagers sing, which is super cool. Yeah. Um, I did find out something, some slightly disappointing news. I had mentioned last week, I think, um, Pig Ganon, Wolf Link, like the Amiibo support. The Amiibos, yeah. Those characters are not, uh, in this game, I don't believe. Oh, that sucks. But the game does support Amiibos. It I've does, it. yeah. So um, I'm, but I'm they're assuming Animal you Crossing just get... hard Amiibos that you can get. Oh. So and how does I, it work? Is it just like you buy the amiibo of the villager you want and then you can bring them into the game or are there like amiibo only villagers? Uh, I don't believe there are any amiibo only villagers. I believe you buy the amiibo of the villager you like. Although I think they come in like packs like trading cards do so you don't necessarily know who you're getting. Okay. I'm not sure. I know they come in packs. I know you don't buy one amiibo card. But uh, unless you're like buying them secondhand. But, uh, you scan the amiibo card, and the villager moves into your campsite for the day. And you have to, like, do favors for them or something right. three times, I think, before they move in. So it actually, it's a fairly long process. Hmm. I think I'd much rather just organically get my villagers. Yeah. Yeah, me too, I think. I mean, there are a but, couple um... of villagers I'd really like to have, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see if I manage. Yeah. I think the two of you wandered off, but I think we want to come right next to you. Are you? Okay, I see Mike in his egg. I, I see you. Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. So, I just... This is my latest villager, Sprocket. I really think he's really cool. Uh, a weapon to rival the Metal Gear. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, yes. you actually talked about him on the previous podcast, and I just happened to luck upon him when I was um, going on an excursion. And yeah. I thought he was so cool. Like a, a robot ostrich. Like, of course I want him on my village. There are a couple of really cool materials wise uh villagers that i really like my favorite is tia who is an elephant who looks like a teacup she's like made of porcelain Ooh, and i think she's cool. probably my favorite villager i, Do I have don't her? have her no. or yeah we could talk about that when we go to your island yeah one of the streamers i watch has her so i know she's in the game and she was okay. in my new leaf town sorry that this is now ghetto but i <laughs> i don't have a bridge here so we'll have to vault over connor i know you don't have a stick, so maybe you can go make one. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know the crafting recipe for that. It's just, uh, some hardwood? Softwood? Something like Some wood? Some kind of wood. I can't get any softwood. I don't have an axe. I'm starting from zero here. Oh, man. Okay, I'll, I'll make you one. Hold on. I'll make you one of those and a ladder. So, if we, yeah, if we just run back to my house, we've got a crafting table there. And I'll just leave them behind. They can be your guests to pull and ladder. Sure. I'm assuming you're heading... Okay, there you go. Also, I really like this, like, cast iron pot thing I have bubbling outside. Yeah, it's like a I'm cauldron. I'm a fan of that. Yeah. yeah, I really like it. I don't necessarily... Lo well, no, it's growing on me. Oh, that? when you're running around, the motion blur makes that thing floating on top of it look kind of like a patty. And I thought that's what it was at first. I thought you were, like, cooking a giant burger. Oh. It's, it's a wooden... Right. Right, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of motion blur in games. Although this game is it's, fairly conservative. Yeah, it's, it's minimal yeah. here. I normally turn so, motion blur off on most games I play. I like your uh your ornament on your door. 
Oh, thanks. Okay, I need to retrieve some wood for my house. Okay. To make this stuff for you. But yeah, I see you two chilling on my, my log table outside. Yeah, that's very nice. I like your garden as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, like, experiment with colors and stuff with the flowers. Because I, I haven't looked that up yet. I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to just figure it out on my own by testing. Yeah, but, uh, I think it's most fun if you just kind of put all your flowers in a checkerboard and see what works. I haven't even been, like, watering okay. my flowers. I just kind of let the rain do it. I make sure to water them every day. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I actually need to get some soft wood for you, Connor. I, I think I only need, like, two more. Shouldn't take long. And there's one. There we go. Alright, so yes, I will make you your stuff, and this could be the guest tools, because Alex ran into the same problem earlier today, because he was just carrying turnips. Yeah. Although I have heard, if you leave a turnip to rot, it'll attract ants, and you, that's how you catch ants for your Yeah, I think I'm gonna collection. leave one to rot. Well, I guess yeah. you have to leave ten. But... Yeah, so I, I, I actually, when I bought turnips for the first time the other Sunday, I actually ate a stack of 10 turnips just to see what would happen. You can save money. Nothing well, I got like 10 energy or whatever, but... Yeah, but I it basically was really ate, expensive. Yeah. <laughs> ate $1,000. For science. More than 1000 10000 No, yeah, it was just 10 turnips. a stack turnips. of turnips is 100 No, because every one turnip is a stack of 10. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I, so I just ate one turnip. Oh, okay. Okay, vaulting pole has been made. I actually need four more softwood for the ladder. It's so nice to be able to fish and not worry about catching stupid eggs. I yeah, I wonder why Zipper's not here. Zipper is the uh, the mascot for the. So Easter. maybe I don't know. Maybe it'll happen for me tomorrow or something. Yeah, I mean you haven't time Probably. traveled anything. Yeah. Have you? No, have you? No. No. You can't no, actually time, time travel this travel. event. Yeah, I know, you couldn't, uh, I was just wondering if he had done it and maybe disabled the event or something. No. I mean, Isabel didn't even acknowledge it or anything. Interesting thing about time travel, though, um, my friend Whitney actually really scared me, because I was storing my turnips outside because I didn't want my house to be full of turnips. And, uh, she texted me and said leaving her turnips outside made them all rot and get covered in ants. And I, like, freaked out, and I went and checked on mine, and they were fine, and I found out lose millions of dollars? Yeah, she time traveled. I, I don't think she had invested that much, but um, she had time traveled just a few hours, and that was enough to uh, spoil her turnips. Yeah, I think normally time don't spoil until the next Sunday. Time traveling insta spoils turnips. Yeah. Which, I think yeah. time yeah time travel insta spoils if you're going backwards. I found yeah, some so... secret weeds. Mm. Yeah, we I like can... the nice grave yeah, up here. Yeah, please, please. Pluck those. Okay, you're already up there. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say, was there's, not there. much, there's not much up there, but I'll, I'll show you guys and then we can move to, on to the next island. So I've definitely focused more on the development towards the front where like most people will be. Yeah, eventually I, I'll move my way up, but... I've kind of uh, done the same. Except I don't know if I'm... Well, I'll, I'll talk about it later when we get to my island. But yes, the grave, Mike. I'll, I'll talk about that when I get there, but I just thought... What a nice spot for a grave. <laughs> wow, that's real morbid. I know, but someone like I, I forget how I got that. I think it like dropped out of a, a b balloon or something. Someone's corpse dropped out of a balloon. <laughs> no, just their heads. <laughs> I mean, it never worked. Okay, I think we want to go up here. Yeah. So you just had a bunch of roses growing on your island? I did, yeah. That's super handy. I don't think I have white roses yet. Yeah, I only feel, have... free, feel free to... Well, you don't have a shovel. shovel. Yeah, I'll, I'll get them later. Well, I can shovel it up and give it to you. Nah, right. don't worry about it. I, so, I think yeah, I might here's have the, some. Here's the grave. Very, very suggestive of, like, tragic... Tragic thing happened on this island. Not yeah, quite I, sure uh, what. But if someone yeah. were to stumble upon it, they, they'd have questions for sure. Yeah, doing some environmental storytelling here. Yeah. And actually, if we come here... For those who are, you know, sleuthy enough to find it. The secret beach. 
I have put a couple chairs on this beach. <laughs> just to relax. Oh man. I, I just got a bit of inspiration. I'm gonna try to put two bathtubs uh, on the beach back here. That's gonna be nice. my secret Easter egg. It's gonna be a Cialis commercial. Yeah, that's pretty much my island in a nutshell. There's an orchard to the west oh, here. Don't that. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's just what it sounds like. It's nothing special. It's just uh, five by three orchard. Yeah, I don't know how important it is to you guys, but um, I guess your island rating is affected, like, you can have too many trees and stuff, so like... Really? Yeah, so like an orchard like this, this is probably fine because it's fairly small, but I was watching Griffin McElroy's stream today, and uh, he had a lot. He had too many trees. Like, it just it didn't even look good yeah. anymore. It was... Uh, I mean, Don't I really was planning so. on cutting down, like, all sorts of trees, but then <laughs> these bloomed into sakura blossoms, and I was like, oh, well, now yeah, I don't want it. makes it hard, to. huh? Yeah. yeah. Makes me wonder what else, uh, what other appearance they will take, uh, you know, throughout the year. Yeah, well, yeah, I won't spoil it for you. That's my island. I'm, I, well, I assume in the fall they'll, like, turn, turn orange and stuff. I wonder what happens to your fruit trees, though. I wonder if they just don't grow in the winter. Uh, I'm pretty sure they still grow. If I remember correctly, they do. Because I, I actually, this is a fun little thing. I, it's always bothered me. Um, three, I think, of the previous Animal Crossing games I've played, I got all on my birthday, which is December 24th. And so I've always started Animal Crossing in the winter, which is, in my opinion, the ugliest season. Yeah, I think Animal Crossing needs to be started in, like, the spring. Spring or summer, yeah. Because, uh... Yeah, like, I just remember it feeling like forever. I didn't even know what my town would look like when it wasn't a snowy wasteland. Yeah. That was true for uh, the original Animal Crossing, Wild World, and City Folk. A uh, new leaf I actually bought for myself in the summer when it came out, though. Nice. So, uh, whose island is next? Uh, let's go to Mike's, because I feel like yours is fitting of... A finale, unless Mike's gone ham on his island. I haven't gone ham. I've gone somewhat ham, but I haven't gone, like, Connor ham. I'm kind of excited. Alright, we'll go to go Mike's. home and open my gates. Mine's more full of memes, and I plan on, uh... Oh, I look forward to touring your, your meme-infested home. I'm gonna grab the rest of my turnips real quick, because I don't want you guys, uh... Nabbing them. Oh, my turnip prices are hard. Today's prices were uh, like 56 bells. I'm not gonna sell in your town. I'm just yeah. So apparently, turnips. just doing some research online, there there is like uh, an algorithm behind these turnip prices. Yes, and, there uh, is. There there is a website you can enter your turnip prices in every day as as you get them. Yes. And it'll pretty much like with decent certainty tell you what day you should sell on but i yeah. i don't like that that's a little <laughs> too cheating for me i feel like like i, I don't look down on anybody else he does it because it's you know it's pretend video game money but uh i just i think it takes the fun it takes the suspense out kind of if you know a little bit yeah like you know i'm selling i'm playing it safe right now and selling on a Wednesday, you know, there are three more turn of selling days left this week, but I don't think I'm going to make over double my money, so. Yeah. Uh, Mike, are you just going to send us your dodo code in the Slack? Yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, open my gates. Actually, I can open up the... I don't even need the dodo code, because you're my only two best friends. Okay, that works. That sounds really bad, but <laughs> really, I just haven't uh, been I... to visit anyone else. So just out of curiosity, do you, either of you have terraforming? Not yet. Not yet. I will, I think, get it tomorrow. KK is visiting my town tomorrow. And uh, I, I need to get, get more decorations going before KK So I'm visits. assuming to get KK to visit, you need a five-star rating? You need a three-star. Five-star, okay. I believe, is actually fairly difficult to attain. Uh, five-star is when you get the I, golden axe, right? I don't know. Historically, I know in New Leaf, um, if you could maintain a perfect town, you didn't have stars back then, but if you could obtain a perfect town for, I think, 10 consecutive days, you would, um, 
get the golden watering can, which, you I'm know, assuming it just doesn't break. Uh, well, in previous games, nothing broke except axes anyway. But, oh. um, Interesting. Uh, I do believe golden tools do break, but they have some other advantages that I'm not going to spoil. Okay, cool. I'm glad I'm saving all my uh, gold nuggets. I'm assuming I'll need those eventually. Yeah, I, I mean, have you bought the giant robot schematic? Because apparently it oh. takes a ton of gold. I can't wait to uh, build that. No, but I've seen it and it looks awesome. Yeah. I'm getting my tools back. All right, I am heading over to Mike's Island right now. Yeah, I'm at the Nook so, shop. So your island is named Paradiso. Is there any particular... Is that a reference to something, or is that just something you came up I with? I came up with it, and then I realized it was a Eurodance group from, I think, the <laughs> 80s or 90s? No, <laughs> so I'm like... was that it was, like, based okay. on a Bayonetta thing. No. It's just, uh, Spanish for Paradise. Mm, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does sound Spanish for Paradise. No, I was oh, on stream when I did it. The There's a little note. I love the little, uh... Like, when you're flying in and loading into the island, I love how you actually fly over the island and the pleasant music that plays. Yeah, that is nice. And, and the pilot who actually sounds, like, has the muffled pilot voice. It's like, yeah. Very I hope Captain comes hear. back. Yeah, me too. I'm that sure he'll Captain. be in an event or yeah. something, because that's what they did in Pocket Camp a ton. Like, any of the NPCs that weren't in the game got to run events, basically. Like, Leaf from New Leaf is coming back to do it. Oh, Chip Jr. is also in my town, and he buys fish for an astounding amount. I may have to hang there for a bit after, uh... Like, I s sold an inventory of, like, not really expensive fish. There were, like, two ore fish in there, and I made 68 or 78,000. Wow. wow. <laughs> he, he so I, yeah, I had, a. Um... I don't think the fish town. guy. I don't think the fish guy sells to other people though, right? No, uh, they do. They do. Because I'm pretty sure Alex had the fish guy at his place the other day, and he said that he wouldn't sell to others. I am pretty sure one of my friends sold the flick, which is the same thing, but for flick. bugs. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to. Right, I haven't seen. I haven't seen so either brilliant. of them yet. Yeah, I haven't seen flick yet. Flick is cool. I had Wisp last night, or the other night. Yeah, I've had Wisp like three times, and I've had Gulliver more times than I like. I remember... I wish, so I, I wish Gulliver and Wisp would do something different. Like, I, I thought that maybe after I helped them out enough, they'd like move to the island or something, no. but I don't think that's gonna happen. I just wish they were a little more rare, because Wisp used to be like a cool thing. And I think Wisp used to only come out like much later at night. Like, Wisp I say used to, to come out like 3 a.m. ish every night. Yeah. Okay, if but I now it's like correctly. 7 p.m. and you can find Wisp, like... As, as long as it's dark. Yeah. Yeah, you Wisp needs to be a reward. that makes sense, though, for, like, Animal Crossing <laughs> target audience. You know? What? I just saw your flag. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I needed to change it for a, uh... What was it? A Nook no Miles? Miles? Yeah, and... <laughs> that's the first thing that came to mind at 3 a.m.? So I changed it to that, and it's beautiful, and I love it. Like, it's Jeez. much better than that painting. Alright, so we're all here now, so... In my way. So your flag is Todd Howard. Yeah. And you have a painting of t t Todd Howard surrounded by flowers right outside your airport. With floss. Which is, which is, uh, which is something. There's no paintings in this game. I have to make do. Yeah. I got my handy hammock. We're gonna need- you're gonna need vaulting poles as well, because it's- I- I have one this time. Huh? I don't think I have anything on- Your villagers side. are out and about. I don't even think I went into your house, Ammon. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> we- we should have done that. Oh, well. Well, welcome to my crib. If you follow <laughs> me into my house. Your- your pansy colors are really nice. I'm trying to get some of these colors, like the white and the dark blue, these, but I haven't had any oh, luck okay. yet. I was gonna say, these are windflowers in- in the fence. Yeah, I have wind flowers in the fence. And then, oh, oh wait uh, yeah, a this minute. dark blue pansy is nice. Okay, wait a minute. I thought wind flowers and pansies were the same thing. They okay. Are not. Those are different flowers. That explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, they will not breed. Yeah. 
Oh, I actually, I like your living room quite a bit. I like your fireplace. I don't know if the mantle is where I would put the microwave. So, That's just fine. out of curiosity, is, are all of our houses at the same level of upgrade now? I think, I, I have three rooms. Does everyone have I, three I rooms? also have three rooms, yeah. Oh, I like your TV. Kind of brings the whole... I, I appreciate your, um... One, one of the rookie mistakes I see in decorating is putting all the furniture against the wall and not having yeah. like a centerpiece in the room. And I... I got this. I instantly have respect for people who don't do that. Yeah, I got the Kotasu from uh, Audi. I'm like, oh, man, it really fits in the center of the room. Are these patterns on the wall? What are these? These are wall decorations that I've just kind of occurred. Okay. So yeah, some, this is very nice. Some anime stuff, yeah. I noticed you're using the uh, the original white wall. I see a lot of people doing that. It's it's one of the better wallpapers. Yeah, I've seen it really so far. is. I found a blue version of it that I'm using, and I just kind of like it. Like, it's exactly the same, but, a, like, a light blue. I'm jealous of your TV. I've been looking for a TV for a while, and I think I got gifted no luck. it. Well, you you could catalog. Uh, you have it in your catalog now, so you could buy it for Amid. Yeah, I might. Uh, I have my secret lab back here, along with the oh recording my gosh. room. We, we <laughs> had the same idea. I yeah. also have a chemistry set in my back room. <laughs> <laughs> but I call it my I, I call it my meth lab. Yeah, it's pretty have, much like, my meth lab. I also have a uh, like a microscope. <laughs> it's it, it, it's a meth lab slash gym because I also have a punching bag and a pull up bar. Oh wow. Yeah, let me let me bring some natural light in. Wow, the writing on the period. Oh, I didn't know you could. Weird. I didn't know you could uh, do that with the windows. That's cool. You can actually draw the shades. Oh what? Yeah. Mike just like. I figured this out the other night. <laughs> I had no idea. That's, That's so cool. great. Okay, Mike, I, I request two gifts, please, and I'll, I'll give you two in return, but I need that per periodic table. If you could make another one, if you could buy another one. Yeah, I could probably just catalog it. Yeah. I don't remember where I got it from. I just got it. Everything in my house isn't bought. It's just kind of gifted. Like my oh, is side this room. laundry machine? Yeah. Nice. I got I my pant press. In reality. Nice. My kitchen's really I like sparse. Your, I like your home a lot. Yeah. I'm ready to see the rest of the island, though, I think. I see you're about to mow all your flowers down. Yeah, I felt like what? that was the best place to put that, honestly. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just a lawnmower. Mark my pop filter out of the way. Oof. Okay, so I need windflowers then. I thought windflowers and pansy. I thought like it was just a rare pansy when I saw the red windflower come up. So shows how much I know. <laughs> all my villager houses are spread out. Most of them are in the back half, though. Yeah, I, I like the idea of spreading out the villager houses too, because I feel like if I moved to an island, I'd not want to live in like a, you know, like a townhome style like houses right next to each other. But there is something yeah. to be said about having villages, so I don't know. Broken yeah, I, I had to... Yeah, well, I won't talk about my town until we get there. I keep starting to, and... I put a lot more money into ramps than I did into bridges proper. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that, kind of. Just because the animation for climbing a ladder is a little more annoying to me. Yeah, than the animation yeah. for vaulting. Yeah, ideally, yeah. Like a fully developed island, I... I think the goal should be never to have to use a vaulting pole or a ladder. Yeah. Oh, I still use my ladder, but it's more of a... just a casual thing. So, are there any hints of Easter on your island? Because I was not... Oh, yeah. No, know. Zipper T Bunny is literally my town square. Yeah, Menacingly. To to be like, hey, why aren't you... <laughs> why are you not at my, village? my island? I have my newest villager on the cape over here. Yeah, I like this layout. Plucky. Have you, you thought about like chicken? <laughs> I've kind of thought about moving my house up. Oh, I see you've got a nice uh, stargazing yeah. uh, spot up here. I thought about moving my house up into the cliffs. Also, CJ's felt... up here as well. I felt restricted having to be up on that first layer, you know? But yeah. I kind of like being on the first layer. I don't know. I, I deliberately picked out a corner of the island to put my house just because I naturally gravitate towards corners, I guess. My I island really didn't there. have a lot of space in the main level before I got the vault pole. 
Yeah, I'm looking at your map, and yeah, it would be pretty cramped. It got super cramped really fast. That's why I put everything up in the north. Yeah. Yeah. I like this, um... This bit of water over here. This waterfall into a little pond. Yeah, this is... I don't have anything like this on my app, yeah. I really like it. I, I have might, plenty uh, of waterfalls. Might build one of these. Oh, my, my island selection was really bad. Like, it was all <laughs> islands with, like, three rivers and only a little stretch of land in the middle. Yeah. I think, you know, ultimately, it's okay, yeah, it doesn't though, matter terraforming much, is yeah. a thing, right? So. I'm probably gonna cut out maybe a river. Probably not, really? though. It's part of the charm. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say, I... I'm not gonna make any drastic changes to my town, Same I here. Think. I, I think... I think part of my island, and I think part of everyone's island's charm is just adapting to the landscape. Yeah. I'll definitely remove some cliffs, though. There's too many cliffs. Yeah, I'm thinking about, like, um... I don't want to check my lighthouse. Oh, uh, yeah, I built a lighthouse, too. Oh, They're nice. Super... I forgot to show you guys my lighthouse, but it was in the corner. That's okay. I think everybody's got one at this point yeah. in there. I've also got, like, a... Yeah, well, we can stop talking about my island. We're going to... Yeah, we're not on that island anymore. Yeah. No, my villagers are also... Oh, I like this basketball. Like, they're all boring. I have two koalas, though. Yeah, you mentioned... So this is a... Looks like a ninja bunny named Snake. That seems pretty cool. He's very sporty. I don't know how I feel about the sporty villagers. They're kind of overbearing. I, I kind of like him. He's like, he's yeah. like my buff workout companion. I love. Snake. I typically don't like the sporty villagers, but Tibble's one of my original two. I, I, he's really grown on me. But like, yeah. when I'm looking at new villagers, sporty is definitely a turn off. I have, I have Rodney up in the corner. I really regret recruiting him into my village because he just looks disgusting. Yeah, he does look disgusting, but very slob. Yeah, he he just showed up. Uh, he was the one who showed up in my tent, so I didn't have any really choice. I think that was like I had to take him. So I learned Audi was actually a reference. Who? Oh yeah, Audi. Yeah, to um someone's grandmother who played it, yeah, 300 hours, right? It's yeah. like an 88 year old grandma who put like a thousand something hours. Yeah, it was way more than 300 hours. Oh, yeah, really? no, she okay. put a lot into it. It was 3,000. It. it was a lot on New Leaf. Sorry, 300 hours is still a lot. My most played game is only 400 some hours. Yeah, mine's like a thousand-ish. I mean, but <laughs> just at the rate we're going with this game, who knows? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get like a year of gameplay out of this, plus if you really want to keep growing. Like, I'm gonna have to play well into December. And I'm sure, like, Nintendo's new model means that, uh, we're gonna get some sort of add-on to this. Yeah, and I, I honestly, like, I see myself saving up a ton of money and then just totally redoing my island a few times. Yeah, I know. My island's gonna get- I gotta move my shop because I forgot about resident services. Oh. <laughs> and it's really obnoxious to get into Nook's Cranny. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Yeah, mine, I, I actually have the same problem that you do. I actually, exactly, I put, built Nook's Cranny right here, right behind Resident Services. I kind of want to move it, too. I have a nice well. What's yeah, there? the well's super good looking. Yeah, I went with the default color as well. That's nice. I haven't done any customization. Oh, really? I've done quite a bit. I like getting you know, like, I hate the default wood color on stuff. Well, I don't hate it. I just, it looks like unfinished wood and all the others look like they're finished. So, so from what, from what I can, so what can you customize and what can you not? Cause I feel like it's very arbitrary. Uh, any, there's like a little paintbrush on the recipes that can be customized. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far as like just normal furniture you can customize, you pretty much just have to have it in your inventory and check, I think. You know, there's a bunch of rules, but it all makes sense. Hey, this, uh, that's the else summary of my off? island, no. Alright, let's head back to mine. It's a little sparse, but it's more spread out. I don't have a proper orchard, I just have a... Yeah, I'm not building a proper orchard for a while, I don't think. Uh, where's it's all your organic. Oh, uh, should be over this way. I use the coconut trees as reference. 
I really like the look of the cherry blossoms. I wonder how long they'll be out. Probably not too long. Uh, all probably, spring, spring, yeah, all at least all of April. Probably into May. Nice. Actually, I don't know when summer starts in Animal Crossing. It probably starts in June. June, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. June sounds right. Because spring starts in March. bit of dead air here while we hop on planes. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much to I say mean, here. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, that'll get edited out on the podcast, but the video, you're kind of stuck with it. I can edit it down. It'll be... Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Mike is perfectly capable of editing a video. That's true. That's oh, true. it's going to be a nightmare to edit. Actually, it probably won't be that bad. I mean, it only it's going to be like pretty long. We're over an hour now, aren't we? Wait, no, we're at 40, 41 minutes. Yeah, we're 41 oh. minutes. Oh, that's about right, then. We're making good time, actually. 20 minutes each. Yeah. I mean, Mario's getting remakes. Yeah. That's, that's the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know if we should go into that right now. Yeah, we don't know more, but if it's true, it's big. If it's true, I'm getting all of them day one. Oh, no, yeah. Qu no questions asked. Yeah, I'll Any get them. I'll, I'll get them day one, whether it's true or not. Yeah, this, this year in general is just... It's not uh, friendly to your wallet if you're into video games. No. It's not friendly to your wallet, period, but... Yeah, well, for, for multiple yeah. <laughs> reasons been, unrelated to video games, yeah. yes. Did you guys see that YouTube is demonetizing people who are um, talking about the coronavirus? Oh no, this video is going to lose us money. That's really messed up. Yeah, Why? you're allowed to talk about it. You're not allowed to say coronavirus, I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah, the Game Grumps had to make up a metaphor for it so that they didn't get demonetized. So dumb. Yeah. Luckily, there's no money involved in the making of this podcast, so we can say yeah. it all, yeah. all we want. Apparently, also, Bethesda will not host a digital the, showcase for its The uh, only money games. involved is the money I spend out of pocket to host it and pay my editor. That's big. Bethesda's not doing a conference one. this year. For E3? Wait, really? Yeah, they're not doing a digital showcase. I just sent you guys I guess that kind of, make, kind of makes sense with, you know... The virus and all. The fact that they're not even doing it digitally is big. Yeah. Well, I mean, we know what's on the docket for Bethesda. You know, we know Starfield is coming. We know Elder Scrolls Six is further out than that. Yeah. I feel like, I think they need to just heads down, and then until until they have something big to show for one of those titles. They, yeah, they need to like go radio silent for a little bit because they're not exactly doing well right now. Doom Eternal did well. Yeah, but that was id Software and with the Bethesda Publishing. Yeah, but yeah. Bethesda's making bank off of it. The, yeah. more, the more games id makes, the more they differentiate themselves from Bethesda, I think. like yeah, id makes some quality. I really don't associate id with Bethesda anymore. And I don't associate Bethesda with quality anymore. Oh, <laughs> fired. No, I have not associated the quality. Like, they, even they've definitely, like, yeah, Skyrim was the last good. Yeah, Skyrim was fantastic, but, you know, Skyrim was fantastic in 2011, and they're still trying to make Skyrim a thing in 2020. Fallout 4 was okay. It wasn't, like, the next big thing, though. It just felt kind of barren, almost. Like, I put 300 hours into it, but... Well, that was one of your top five games of the decade, right? You really liked it. I think I said Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3. Maybe? I don't remember saying Fallout 4. I might have. I'm, I'm like 90% sure you said Fallout 4. It did make a big impact on me, but looking back on it, I can't play it anymore. Mm hmm. Like, I've played better games since then, because at that point. Yeah. At that time, it was a good game. When I first played it at launch. And it held up for about 300 hours, and then it just got boring because everything died really quickly. <laughs> Yeah. And that, that didn't was just annoying and ran me out of ammo. Yeah, we've talked about Fallout before on the show, and I definitely feel like Fallout 3 was was the apex for me, and then after that it was just more of the same. Jesus, 
All right, I'm entering the code. Oh, I just flew over. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, so many fences. Uh, yeah. Well, the big barbed wire fence isn't really a feature of the island. That's just where I had my turnips. Oh, you had your turnips at the gulag? Yeah, because I wanted to be able to- I didn't want them in my house, and I wanted people to be able to come visit my town without worrying about them stealing my turnips. So I just built a fence around them. Yeah, I don't know, like, that might become a problem later as we become more wealthy in the game, you know? It's already buying, annoying. Buying, buying turnips, like, what if you buy, like, a million dollars worth of turnips one week, and where, where are you supposed to put them? Yeah, it's all, I mean, it's already super annoying, because it takes up, like, I mean, this was two, two this was, like, almost two full inventories of turnips. Yeah. And they don't need like, stack I, as well. I had, I had a full inventory's worth, essentially, and yeah. that, and that, like, took up most of my house. It's annoying, like, I don't know why you can't store turnips. You should be able to, honestly. Or they you just stack a little I think. Yeah, they should stack a little better. Yeah, yeah. at least, because like, yeah, at this point, I don't really want to buy a million bells where the turnips, like, say, say, like, you know, turnips are 30 bells or something. You want to buy, like, as many as you can. But, like, at that point, you're probably going to stop because it gets annoying before you stop because you've spent too much money. Yeah. Yeah. Just start burying your turnips. That's a thing, but that would be even more annoying. That would take forever. Oh, and it also destroy a shovel. I wonder if a yeah. turnip tree would grow. It doesn't, no. Turnip Burying tree. a turnip just puts an X in the ground like anything else. All right, let's meet up at the airport. And, uh... So, I'm on your island, Connor. What is So, your island is called Corolla. Is that, yeah, that, is that something no you came up with? Yeah, I just came up with something. Yeah, looked around my house and put some words together. So you can see I've kind of got, I don't have any fences built here, but I've got two, uh, I've got Renee and I believe Blanche living up here. Blanche is the newest villager. Um, I, can, I like the, the flower color choices and placement. I feel like those were deliberate. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, the only place the flowers aren't pretty deliberate is in my own garden, because I just kind of have them spread out. We'll walk up here. You can see I've got this nice town square fountain. You can almost see, like, I've chopped down trees and stuff. You can kind of see where I'm going to put roads in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got a nice public pool down here. I don't know if that's going to stay here, uh, right in front of my museum. Uh, my town hall has my favorite flowers of the bunch. You can see some new flowers popped up today, and I haven't had a chance to move them yet. I really like your, uh the brick around your square yeah your i went a little square. crazy with the brick but i like it a lot because I, I went i went a little wild with the brick because i was building a brick bridge and a brick incline yeah um i got lucky with the rare flower uh islands a few times that's where i got all these wind flowers and tulips nice. Ooh, i didn't even see that i got a purple wind flower growing that's hot i like the flag uh, thanks the flag of anarchy yeah uh <laughs> It is an anarchist utopia. So this, you can see up here. <laughs> this looks I've very got... organized for an anarchist utopia. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Anarchy means uh, a lack of leadership. It does not mean a oh, lack know, of leadership. I know, I <laughs> know. Don't even get me started. I just... Anyway, uh, you can see my garden's kind of a mess because I'm just kind of breeding. Like, I want... You can see I've only got the two colors of rose and... Uh... No, you got three. You got orange. Oh, yeah, orange. But I mean, like, the three default colors I don't have. I only have yellow and red. Yeah. And uh, white. Is oh, a it's a pizza color. oven. Yep. I am Harvey has one of those. Uh, let's, let's look inside my house real quick before we move on. I like that you uh, have some trees inside of your yard space as well. Yeah, I really like oranges. I think they're really... Just the best looking fruit. I like peaches in this game. I think they look the coolest. So you see I've got kind of a combination living room kitchen situation going on in my first room. Not a ton to say about it. Just kinda functional. Like like I said at Mike's, I try to keep stuff off the walls. Yeah. I like this I thing, this uh these shelves here. It's kinda yeah, neat. I've, I've got this record box here so, I really like. So was this all one? Like furniture, no. or did you decorate this? Um, it was all one except for the plates and glasses on top. Okay, That cool. is something I added. Uh, my friend Jordan sent me this guitar over here, and I found the amp. 
I think that's kind of fun. Although I guess Jordan sick guitars to everybody, so I'm not special. He didn't say I got a nice veggie stir fry going on the stove over there. <laughs> it'll, um, it'll be going for, for all eternity. Yeah, my bedroom's pretty plain, just plain wood stuff. I got some cat grass here that is kind of weird because I don't have any other cat stuff out. Uh, I really hate... Yeah, that's, that so that's another thing I was wondering. Are pets a thing? Because they have, like, pet food bowls and stuff no, like that. No, that's a thing. Okay. I really hate this, like, vintage TV tray thing that I have, but I don't have anything else to use as a nightstand yet. And, uh... Yeah. You should have a the, like a simple end table thing. I don't think I do. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the default recipes. Hmm. I'll have to look again. But when I was decorating, I didn't have any. And then my back room is just a bathroom right now. It's very utilitarian. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a little boring. I like, I, I, want... I like how Mike and I elected to not have a bathroom, but to have a secret a secret lab. lab. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I want to have, like, a spa room. Like, a bathroom slash spa room. Originally, I had my pool in here, but I heard that the Happy Home Academy docks you points if you put outdoor furniture inside. Oh, really? So, and I kind of care about that score, at least until I do well. And I did do well. I broke uh, 30,000 last time. So, how do you get this score again? I thought it was, like, one to five stars through Isabel, right? No, that's your island evaluation. Happy Home happens once a week. I think on the Sundays. Uh, yeah, I think it's Saturday going into Sunday, yeah. Do you have you... to talk to someone for that? No, no it just it's... happens and you get a letter. Yeah, you just get a letter. Oh, okay, I'm gonna definitely go back and check my letters then, I don't remember this. So let's go over here. Oh, um, how do you move your mailbox? Uh, you just pick it up, like a piece of furniture. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really cool. Can't you customize uh, it as well? Yes. Uh, yes. I super hate this bridge. I'm definitely gonna destroy it soon. Uh, but I really like... Uh, I've got Nan's house. Nan, I think, is my favorite villager right now. Uh, and she lives in the shopping district over here. And I'm probably gonna, like, do some paving and, like, put some... I don't know. There's gonna be a little more to this. But I like my Nook's granny and my Abel sisters over here. Uh, I've just kind of gone wild with the trees uh, and different fruits that grow. Nothing super interesting to talk about there. Sorry, I'm talking to Zipper right now, and she's got a lot to say. Yeah. Collect the eggs. Yeah. Yeah, there is no bunny on my island, for sure. Yeah. I, I mean, you guys were there. You didn't see him. Oh, I got another purple windflower over here. That's nice. I guess those are going to pop up everywhere I have blue and pink together. Uh, so if we go north up here, I, I kind of, I broke these two rocks, or I broke rocks, and these two ended up together, which is kind of nice, because I only have to dig one hole each now to get the full nine hits out of them. Yeah. Uh, if we travel up north, you can see my campsite. I've got some he, 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 H flower, I forget what it's called. I can't. Hyacinth? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, maybe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, and I got a well next to my campsite, which just kind of makes sense to me. Uh, we come up here and you see the bane of my existence. There's not any flat. There's no. There's nowhere to put a bridge up here. It infuriates me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's just. I'm sure uh, you'll be doing some terraforming to. Well, what I think there. I'm gonna do is put a little island in the middle of the waterfall here, so that I can just hop across. That's cool. But I'll probably even this out so that I can put a bridge. Because uh, I don't want to cheap out or anything. Uh, we go over to the right here. We can see. Hornsby's house, um, I actually just kind of fixed it up. It looks a little nicer now. His his fence was way bigger and it looked kind of terrible. That's why there's no trees here. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a little bamboo garden. I let one of my friends raid it though, so it's a little empty now. Uh, you can see- Why'd they cut it down? Uh, I let them dig it up. Oh, to give them bamboo. Okay, yes. I see. Uh, oh, I found- is this your turnip gulag? Yeah, this was my turnip gulag. Uh, you know, it's just not nothing there now, but it was full of turnips. You got some know. Uh, fossils it's... to dig up. Yeah, I know. I it's probably I eggs, honestly. Yeah. yeah, it's probably eggs. Like uh, that that turnip gulag could hold two inventories worth of turnips. And my my last land plot is actually up here on top. Uh, well, not my last. So you you utilized all three tiers. Yeah, I actually want my house up here. I think though. I haven't decided. Because I, I like where my house is now. I'm a little iffy. 
Yeah. But anyway, I wanted somebody to live up here. Actually, I think I'm going to put my house down in the middle. But let's go ahead over to the east here. So that's really interesting. The first time I saw your island, I thought you had terraform because you had so much uh, space on your tier three land. Yeah. No, it's just and that uh, I actually have so little that I can't have a house up there. So I've actually got this neat little uh, fishing spot I put together. I actually have a fishing line propped up and a stone to sit on and some picnic yeah, supplies. Nice. I really like that bait is in the game so that I can actually come here and sit and fish. Uh, if we come over left a bit, you got a log staircase you can step up, and I also have a little observatory area. And you can see I've roped off the uh, the back cliff here so nobody falls down <laughs> while they're nice. looking at the stars. Um, yeah, not much to it. Stone. Uh, I like to think that like there's some, you know, it's some ancient alien script on the stone that they're studying with the uh, telescope. A little bit of lore for Kerala there. Uh, we can step down here, you see I've kinda... There's not a house here yet, but I've already kinda gone ham on this little neighborhood. They've got a street light, they've got outdoor furniture, a ton of flowers. Everybody's got brick fences in between their houses, and then a playground at the far end uh, with ropes that the kids don't fall in the river. Wow. So maybe this is a result of you having like so much more development, but your island just feels so much bigger. Yeah, I think it is because so much of it is developed. Um, and also you can get uh, almost anywhere on my island without using any tools. Uh, but yeah, and I've got like a little painting spot in the neighborhood here uh, that's looking at my own garden. <clears throat> but yeah, you, you can just kind of look at it and see where roads make sense to go, which is what I wanted. Yeah, so I, I, th I think that's a little bit of a spoiler for me because I was not aware that roads were a thing, but now that I think about it, of course they're a thing. You know, that's, that's pretty yeah, obvious. Well, you can already do them. It's just really annoying uh, by, like, going into your pattern app and, like, just, you know... Going hop hopping patterns down? Hop hopping them down on the ground. That's how, in the old games, that's how people did roads. But I believe so there, there is... actual faster... dedicated roads in this game. I, I think it's that same thing, but it's just a faster way of doing it. Okay. Oh, DIY recipes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to roads. Oh, I want the ironwood chair. I already have a bamboo doll. Yeah, I'd so have them all. Bamboo is seasonal, right? Yes. Well, so, young bamboo is. So, can you not get bamboo anymore? Like, is so is bamboo a spring thing, or...? I think bamboo will still be there, but it won't drop the young spring bamboo anymore. Okay. Interesting. Because the, there are two types. Do you want that DIY recipe, Hammond? So I don't tolerate garbage in my, uh, I don't tolerate garbage. This, this actually does infuriate me. If you come over and look at Renee's house and, uh, Blanche's house, they are not even. Oh, I'm assuming you'll, you'll spend a small fortune to even those out. It's only 50,000. I don't know. See, cause I don't think I'm going to give them fences. I think, you know, I kind of want this section, because they have much a larger area in between them than the others do, and it's also an even number, so putting a fence doesn't make sense. So I yeah. think I might do, like, a little path. Like, this isn't a planned neighborhood. Just like the ones up in the hills aren't, and Nan, like, aren't really planned neighborhoods so much. Because I, I agree with... Uh, I have a lot of friends who are, like, trying not to plan too much because they like the look of, like... And the way you were saying you wanted to spread your houses out, kind of. Yeah. To make it look natural. And I agree with that, but I, I've never done, like, a planned neighborhood like this in an Animal Crossing game. So I thought it would be neat yeah. to put one there. And even though it's only four houses, that's, you know, a little under half my town. No, I think... Yeah, I, I definitely think aesthetically it looks amazing, you know? Yeah, like, yeah especially just, with the chairs. It looks, it, it, lo it looks picturesque. Yeah, I'm really into it. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I've got to show, though. Yeah, I'm excited to see, like, maybe, like, a month from now, how different our towns will be, like, even yeah. from how they are right now. Yeah, because I think, Mike, your meme ability is going to really increase with the new oh, release and stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, I can't wait. <laughs> I might just make a giant collage somewhere in my town of Todd Howard. Yeah, for <laughs> sure.
somewhere in Maybe on the secret you should, page. You should uh, embed him into the into the ground using uh, custom patterns. I mean, I've seen some really crazy like things. Like a giant, like, 10 done. by 10 thing. I saw somebody who used the terraforming tools to build um, the map from A Link to the Past. Really? Wow. Yeah, like a scaled down version of it, obviously. But I think that would be really cool to do. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to do it. Excited to, uh, I'm excited to unlock that, I'm, and I'm also excited to see what else lies on the horizon. Because you said, like, you said you were unlocking, or not unlocking, but uh, KK Slider was coming to your town soon. Tomorrow. And, uh, and yeah, and I always thought that was the end of the game, but is it? I think it's it sort not? of, it's the end of the early game, because Animal Crossing games don't have an end. Like, you know, right. I haven't paid off a ton of my loans, and I can't imagine... It would have been pretty frustrating to try to pay off your loans in full, like, up to this point. Yeah. And, like, there's a ton of stuff I still want to do with my town, and, like, I, uh, in previous games there are, like, shop upgrades and stuff that come. And, like, I haven't completed the museum and stuff, so, like, obviously I'm not in the end game. So, the way I'm classifying KK showing up is the end of the beginning of the game. Yeah. So, like, you know, you, you have all your... T sort of like the end of the Great Plateau. You have all yeah. your tools, and now you get to actually do stuff. Yeah, but I guess what I'm asking is, like... Uh, obviously, it's an endless game, because you can keep doing stuff, but will things keep happening? Like, will you keep getting new things? Will new events keep happening? I doubt there's going to be a lot of new tools, but there will be new events, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I think I'll have all the tools by then, or at least have them all available. Maybe not all the crafting recipes. Uh, I imagine every shop upgrade will have those, assuming shop upgrades are in the game. Uh, there's definitely more stuff to the Able Sisters I haven't unlocked. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm low on And potentially recipes. other shops, too, you know? We yeah, only have the Able Sisters right now. Who knows what else there is. I'm not convinced that uh, future updates won't add uh, entire buildings and stuff for your town to have. Yeah, I could I could definitely see that. Old Nintendo, not so much, but now, for sure. Even, I mean, even New Leaf had that once. Uh, the Welcome Amiibo update added Harvey, and he had, like, a whole campsite area. And there was also a thing in New Leaf called, like, the Happy Home, uh... Designer? Which I imagine will be... What? Was not there a game called Happy Home Designer? Uh, there, yeah, but, um, what I'm talking about is the Happy Home, like... It was, like, a big collection of houses at the top of your town and it was it was literally pulled from the internet and it was just a ton of other people's houses and you could walk in look around their house and it was just a carbon copy of their house but you, these, these could be people you've never met obviously your whole friends list would show up there yeah but it, it was like the happy home academy would break rank their house and then make a copy of it and you could see what their house rank is as well as what they had in there and you could even order furniture out of their house if you wanted to what a neat idea. What a neat yeah. game. I love and this And I'm really hoping there's something like that in this game, because I loved going around and, like, looking at other people's houses. I loved that even in Pocket Camp, like, looking at what people did with their RVs and their campsites. Yeah. Yeah, no, but, this yeah, game it, is... It's... Probably... I am... One of the better Animal Crossings I've played. Yeah, which is weird, because... Honestly, it's missing a lot of stuff that the older games had. Uh, at think, least so far. Do you far. think it's... Well, that's the other thing. Maybe it shows up later, but also do you think Nintendo could be waiting for that to be like an expansion or something? I doubt it'll be a paid expansion, uh, because that would be kind of bogus. But I could totally see, you know, updates adding. Like There, there was a thing in New Leaf called Dream Suite, which was literally like... It was sort of like that happy home thing I was talking about, except it was the entire town. You would yeah. go visit the Dream Suite, and you would upload your entire town. And wow. then you would get a code you could send to people that could visit your town. Uh, I'm hoping Dodo Codes isn't the replacement for that, because that's a, a lame replacement, because you have to actually be there for Dodo right. Codes and for Dream Suite. You could just send it to Nintendo servers, and people could access it whenever. So I saw some comments online. People were saying this Animal Crossing like, was more grindy than the other ones? Uh, for I sure. want to get your thoughts on that. Uh, only so, like, because you have to, like, collect ingredients and stuff. Like, in the previous games, the only grind, really, was fishing and bug catching. But the thing is, that's the whole game. Like, 
adding more grind is just adding more game in Animal Crossing because really what you want is something to do while you exist on this island you've built. Yeah. Like, so the fact that it's, it's sort of like the reason you, or at least the reason I play Maple Story. Like, the game's not actually fun. I just like the world and the music so much. Right. And I, I need something to do to exist in that world. And in Maple Story, it's killing monsters. In Animal Crossing, it's gathering materials, talking to your villagers, fishing. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have context for the, the grindy comments, but I like it how it is right now. Not really sure how I could. I, I can't really imagine anything different, really. Bolt crafting, maybe. Yeah, bolt crafting would be really nice. That yeah, would be I my agree. Requested feature. And, and like uh, better stacks and stuff. Like and being, being able, able to, to take more than one out of a stack. Being able to craft out of storage. Yeah. I would love to be able to just craft like an entire inventory of fish bait instead of crafting it one at a time and just mashing A. Yeah, like, I'm usually sitting there on my phone, like, just... It, uh, it's actually better if you mash all four buttons, I think. A, B, X, Y. Wait, say that again? For what? When you're crafting, if you mash all four of the face buttons... Oh, okay, okay. I usually just mash A. I'm pretty sure all four of them help. I know A and B do. But I just kind of mash my thumb across the whole four of them. Yeah. Another another interesting thought. Are you guys playing this mostly in handheld or dock mode? I have barely played handheld at all. Oh, I play this I a lot in handheld. Really? I, I think I'm it's like so gorgeous. 90 90 percent handheld. I just like taking it with me. Because it's one of the few Switch games that actually runs in 1080. Where are you going right now? <laughs> Other places in my house. You know. What I mean. <laughs> house isn't that big. But um, yeah, I. Yeah, I've played it a few times just for because I work and play games in the same spot in my house usually. Yeah. So a couple of times I put it in handheld and gone up to my retro game room and just sat in there and played. Yeah. But, and I like, I play it in handheld every morning. Like I don't even get out of bed. I just reach over and grab, check the <laughs> turnip prices, check the shop. Before yeah. Work. No, I'll do early in the morning in bed on handheld. Yeah, but mostly, I it's one of the few Switch games that actually runs at a locked 1080p, 30 frames per second, so I like having it on my big TV because it looks really nice. Yeah, it does look very nice. It's not, like, it's just... It's and not I like, like the, the graphics, music coming through my sound system. And... Like, it's not, like, bleeding-edge visuals, but, like, just the aesthetic is so comfy. Yeah. yeah. And, and the aesthetic, like... The visuals are really good on, like, the materials. Like, the animals look... Almost like they're made of felt, which I really like. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's just... And some of the animals literally are, are made of felt or cloth, right? Yeah. I've seen yeah. a couple. Or sprockets made of metal, like... Yeah. It comes through what they're going for super cleanly. Like, Tia looked so much more like porcelain in this game than she did. And, uh, like, it took me a little bit to get the, get the joke in New Leaf. Which, that might be on me, but... I don't know. You have a uh, whole lot of rhinos. Yeah, I, did. I got two rhinos. Hornsby and Renee. Yeah, I was I, I was thinking ideally I would have like all different species, but didn't turn out that way, and I kind of like Claude, so whatever. Hornsby and Renee are buds, so I don't really mind. Like I, I I don't know if you guys have seen this any, but villagers actually will visit each other. Yeah, no, I've seen that. I really like, haven't seen that too much actually, but I've I've seen like like one villager be mad at another for whatever reason, but I haven't yeah. seen them actually interact. Too much. I have a whole story of that. Like, Audie was like uh, houses. Audie really, was. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. That's cool. Audie was mad at Canberra last podcast, and then recently mm. now they're best of friends. That's so cool. That they can have their own little interactions and stories. Why are we all invading yeah. this one person's home? They've also. This? This is Blanche. She's uh, a little uh, uptight, maybe, but I like her, okay. Yeah, I was doing some research on the villager types, and I, I thought that was really interesting. That was my first time, like, reading about those. Uh, it's a I, little I found the concept of an Uchi villager interesting. I had never heard of that before. It's a little more oblique in this game, I think. Like, you know, they're sporty, but they also have some unique characteristics. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas a lot of the time in the past, like, a sporty villager and a, another sporty villager are going to feel identical, which is mm -hmm. weak. Yeah, so, like, each, uh, like, there's four male personalities and four female personalities. 
right? Yeah. And like certain personalities get along better with others and certain don't. And I don't know. It adds a really cool dynamic to the game that I really didn't even know about last time we talked about this game last week. Yeah. I, I mean, this is a game that's you've got a lot to discover yet, I imagine. Yeah. All right. Uh, should we wrap yeah. it up? Um, do we want to do games we've been playing, or have you guys just been playing Animal Crossing? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty okay. much. I, I do have one, but I want to save it for next week, because I'm in the middle of it. Yeah, okay. We can, we can do that. Alright, guys, so that's going to be that for our experimental episode of Game Talk here. Thank you for listening. Uh, please follow us at Ad Podcast Game Talk on Twitter. Please like, rate, and review us on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify, and wherever else you get your podcasts. What else do I say usually? Help me out. <laughs> Help my I'm, I'm forgetting something. Follow us on Twitter. No, 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 wait, wait, I got it. Uh, you can join our Discord by clicking the link in the description of this podcast. And for this one, since it's a little special, we'll also have a link to the YouTube video of us actually playing through this game with the audio. And with that, thank you, Connor and Mike. Yep. Anytime. Yeah. And we'll catch you next week. Bye.